One clearly looks like the guy didn't get hit. One clearly looks like he did get hit. And now apparently there's more video that's coming out. That's great. Yeah. That is good. But one of the ways that we test whether uh, eyewitness testimony is reliable is by wrongful convictions that are overturned by DNA. DNA is infallible. It's either there or it's not there. It's either that person's or it's not theirs. Okay. So of cases in wrongful convictions that are overturned by DNA evidence later, 75, 70 to 75% of them involved eyewitness convictions where they were convicted on the testimony of eyewitnesses. Which was wrong. They were wrong 70 to 75% of the time where DNA overturns a case. It's very important. Yeah. And it's not, it's not saying the people were bad. They're evil. Some of them are. Yeah. There's, there's certainly people that are willing to go into court and lie, but that's not the vast majority. The majority of people are just wrong in their perception. Officers can be wrong in their perception, in their immediate perception in that moment and commit deadly force wrongfully because their actions were not based on reality. It still doesn't mean they should be convicted because it's only in that moment that that perception matters.